Hi Church, it's Graham here from the Audacious Kids team. I am part of the Central Manchester location and it's my pleasure to bring you the Audacious Devotion for today. Uh, I want to share with you a passage that's meant a lot to me over the course of my life and um, one that comes from Matthew uh, verse, uh, chapter 6 verses 24 to 27. Jesus is speaking to us. This is why I tell you to never be worried about your life for all that you need is provided such as food, water and clothing. Everything your body needs. Isn't there more to your life than a meal? Isn't there more to your body than clothing? Look at the birds. Do you think they worry about their existence? They don't plant or reap or store food. Yet your heavenly father provides them each with food. Aren't you more valuable than they are? So which one of you, by worrying, can add anything else to your life? One of my earliest memories is from when I was in infant school and one day I lost my book and I was devastated but also very, very worried. And I remember even at that early age that I didn't really know how to respond. I uh, basically panicked and I pretended and I uh, sat and tried to fit in with everybody else, pretending to do what they were doing when I wasn't really. And the worry just consumed me and I... Remember, though, that my teacher, when she realised what had happened, which felt like it took an age, but probably wasn't really. Um, she was just so kind and patient and understanding of me. And she reassured me and she helped me find the book, which had just fallen into the tray underneath. So a lot of time spent wasted, worrying uh, unhelpfully and just distracting me from what I really should have been doing and uh, making me feel rubbish about myself. And the fact is that throughout my teenage and early years as a young man, um, I was consistently worried uh, and harassed by worry. Um, and again, wasted a lot of time worrying unnecessarily about things that were unlikely. And it was really only when I became a Christian uh, in my early 20s that I discovered this passage. I mean, what could be more reassuring than Jesus, my Lord, my Saviour, speaking to me directly, clearly, and telling me to stop worrying. And reminding me that my Heavenly Father sees me as more valuable than anything else in his creation. Look, there are things in our lives that we can control and things that we just can't. And I think that this passage, um, Jesus is telling us that whatever is happening around us, however out of control, however worried we might feel, we can control what we do with our hearts and our minds, and we can choose to not let worry win. I'd like to encourage you today to um, maybe take control of your controllables. Ask, uh, I'd ask you to maybe take some time to think about those verses yourself, and is there something that Jesus is trying to tell you in them? Uh, what is it that you're worried about? What could you hand over to him? I'd like to pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love me enough to tell me to stop worrying. Thank you that you value me more than anything else in your creation. And because of that, I can stop worrying. I pray that you'd shine a light now on the things that are keeping us um, worried and that maybe we're hiding from you in some way. I pray that you'd shine a light on those today so that we can hand them over and we can then step forward in confidence for the things that you have for us. Amen. Thanks for your time, guys. Uh, have a great day. Bye.